Tell us how you cut the lid. Oh, you want to know? Here. Yeah. Okay, so she said, this is how you pierce a gourd. It, my other pumpkin <laughs> was a 23-pound pumpkin. The wall was this thick. No knife was going through that by hand. I just stick the tip on, pound it down, all the way around. This one I have already done. So it's just like one slice down, so you, you actually just... You just take it and push it down like that, huh? Yeah. So you, on you, an angle. You weren't actually sawing it, huh? No, I was not sawing it. Oh, okay. So it's on an angle. Any special reason why you got it oblong? You have, well, no, no special no. reason. Just, no? okay. I thought I'd just make it big enough to get somebody's big hand in there. Well, it probably. Clean it out. It has to be on an angle, right? Or it has to be on an angle or your top will fall down in. Okay. So she's got a special tool there that she uses. This came in a pumpkin carving kit that you can buy at your local Walmart or uh, drugstore usually. They work nice, nice, nice. This is flatter if you have a flat wall. To clean your flat wall, that's where you're going to be putting your pattern. And it, you just use the rounded end for the rounded sides like this one. So carving kit, you can you can actually buy a kit. Huh? You can buy a carving kit with patterns. This that's what I'm going to be using, oh. instead of just using a knife to carve an eyes, nose, and mouth. Yeah, draw a face on it with a magic marker and go at it. There's, you're you're talking about paper patterns that that you pin on and uh, poke with a pin and take the pattern off and cut where you're poke marks are. I started out, the first time I did them, I did three. I did Burton, Ernie, and I think it was a ghost the first time. When my son was little, I did Burton, Ernie for him. And then he decided, Mommy, I want a regular, uh, 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 to do the mouth, nose, and eyes thing. Go, okay, so we go with another pumpkin. We have four pumpkins out here. And of course, some of the kits come with recipes for pumpkin seeds, pumpkin pie, pumpkin um, bread, stuff like that. They, I've got a couple books that have recipes in. When I'm done cleaning this, I'll get my pumpkin carving kit out and show that to you. And what I do with the pictures in the pumpkin carving kit is I, I copy them on a copy machine. That way I have the originals and don't use the originals. We'll show you that stuff in a minute here. So how clean do you have to get it? You want to take all of your seeds and all of your stringy goop out with the seeds hang in, your guts here. Do you wash it out too? You can rinse it out if you want to because you're going to have all kinds of little pieces in there. Did you say the other day the part, the part that you uh, cut, you, you scrape the inside so it's thinner? Where you're, where you're going to put your pattern, you want to thin it down to about a half an inch. And that's the tool that you use there? Or you yes, use you would scrape it with the, one of these. 
or a spoon, whatever you prefer. Sometimes the spoon is too long of a tool to use to clean your pumpkin. Depends on how big your pumpkin is. This one is a small one, so there's no way a spoon's going in here. So, so if you, so if you're gonna thin it, you just lay it on a table like that and scrape it down. Yep, scrape, 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 and until it's the wall you are doing your pattern on is thin. How long does that take? Half hour? Um, is it, or, it takes or? a little bit longer. Um, depends on how thick your pumpkin is. That 23 pound pumpkin had a two inch, uh, easily two inches thick after the seeds were out. Um, the walls were about two, two to two and a half inches, so it took a lot of scraping to get that down. It was a huge pumpkin. So do they still put candles inside of them? You can still use a candle if you like, or they have all the, all these um, other things you can use. Bat ba uh, battery. Little battery operated lights that flicker like a candle does. Oh, okay. Um, a lot safer, huh? A lot safer. Um, you, don't, you don't have to worry about it. What's something like that cost? The heat in it, because they don't put off any heat. A mm. um, couple bucks. Usually they come in like a two pack. Um, I think. Oops, a little bit more here. You ever had kids come up and smash your pumpkins? No, I have never had a pumpkin smashed. I have been lucky. Thank you. Thanks to the good Lord, I have been so lucky. Nobody has smashed any of my pumpkins. And don't get too excited about carving your pumpkin early, like at the end of September, because it will deteriorate and be a just a blob of moldy ache. You want to wait till about two weeks before. They say 10 days is ideal. Okay. I don't see any more seeds. So after Halloween, what do you do with it? Um, just, just throw because it of COVID, they probably will not be going around collecting pumpkins. Um, Usually they have that boo at the zoo or something. If you take your pumpkin to a, to a zoo, um, they feed them to the um, hippos and... Oh, yeah, okay. I, I remember seeing that on the Stuff news. like that, they eat the pumpkins. Yeah. yeah. But, okay. it, but if you're out in a small town, just, just throw it in the trash, huh? Yeah, you can just throw it in the trash. Chop it up. The garbage it. man will take him. Or you could feed it to the animals, right? Chop it up throughout the woods, or what? I don't know if raccoons and stuff like that will eat pumpkin. Hmm. They might. I've never seen one eat pumpkin before. Okay, so that's how you clean a pumpkin and get it ready for carving, right? I'm going to take this, well, I'm going to get rid of this top mess here. I have not got my sides thinned down yet. Hmm. Over the years, I started doing fancy pumpkins eighteen, nineteen years ago. So I have collected a mass of tools and patterns. Oops. I'm... So show us those books first. Okay, I'm going to show there's, you some books. The books look like this. There's books of patterns. They're all. And like, they're, they're all, all you know. Each year they come out with different ones. Some some are duplicates, of, like the favorites. Um, tools come with usually every book. I have a mass of tools. This is what it looks like on the display at the store. It gives you a kit and your patterns. So. It gives you instructions on how to carve. Okay, we have a detailing saw. A medium saw, a bare bones saw, they have drills, and they have super pokers. This one's got the pumpkin pie recipe in it, and the instructions on how to two saws, a drill, a poker, a scoop, and a crayon in this one. Okay. 
so so here it says uh, detail saw that would be the big one I guess detail saw features soft grip handle for comfortable carving it saws easily through pumpkins and is used for general intricate carving it's got a smaller thinner blade medium saw has a little bit more on the on the sharp points that you cut with finer teeth ideal for carving small intricate pieces this one the big one says intricate carving too yes both those bare bone saw saw is for cutting the lid and carving simple designs so that would be the bad boy yeah, yeah okay. the drill makes perfectly round circles Okay, so that that kit looks different than yeah. This kit's different than this one. It's got it's oh. got a little bit different tool here too. Yeah, there's, the, the there's, tools. These two tools are a little bit different. They're bigger. They're bigger saws. Yeah. What's what's that for? The, That's the hole um, for making your little holes on your pattern. They make. They also make ones that have shadows that, you, that go out the, on the back side of the pumpkin that reflect on your wall. So, so this was a two two ninety nine book mm -hmm. with carving tools. It came with tools. Oh. And there's probably what thirty patterns here. Um, just just roughly. Roughly, yeah, maybe about thirty patterns in it. Here, let's uh, let's just flip through it and show them some of them. Okay, so there's a more there's more of a description of the tools and there's, different sizes. There's three different drills that come with this one. Okay, different sizes that make different different size holes. So these are things you would cut that out, put it on the front of the pumpkin, pin, pin it to your pumpkin, and then and then poke it, and with uh, and tacks then, or something, and then tacks. Um, so so you wouldn't use that to poke it. Uh. Poke what? No. No. You would, to pin this on, you would use post, uh, either uh, poster pins or tacks or something like that. Something like that. To pin it to your pumpkin. Poke. And then I take the poster pin instead of using the little tool. Um, poster they call pins? It the, those, those things with the plastic tips you're talking? So she's talking about using those to pin the pattern on the pumpkin. And I also use one to poke my holes for my pattern. The, leaves the pattern on the pumpkin. So you're talking poking a couple hundred holes? Yes. To, to make the pattern? Yes. Wow. Okay. Or more. <laughs> okay. But they have different kinds of pictures uh, or patterns. You can draw, do witches, moon. They have stars for the back of the moon pumpkin that leaves the star pattern on your wall where you got your pumpkin sitting. Um, So like something like that would be pretty intricate. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one's moderate. They they have easy, moderate, and challenging. Uh, this one is oh. a moderate. Oh, it's a, and, and they're rated up. They're rated at the top. So it's just the opposite. See, of this what... one is easy. You 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 would you run your uh, marks around here on your pumpkin. You trace around the outside here, and then you take your pattern off, and Take your little tools and puncture it and just start sawing around and around. This is what will fall out of your pumpkin. This is your pumpkin here. And this is the part you'll be cutting out. So here, right. So it's just the opposite of what you would think. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, you know, when I first l looked at these things, I'd say, boy, that's kind of hard to cut. But it's just the opposite of what you would cut. Of, it's just this the is opposite. what it looks like when it's done. So, like, that part on the eye, mm -hmm. that's actually part of the pumpkin, right? Yeah. So, you're cutting out the white part here. You're cutting out the gray part. You're cutting out the gray part. This is the gray part of the pumpkin yeah. that you're cutting out. And these lines here are for, instead of having the whole thing in there and you're cutting, you can just cut this. And just come up this way and cut and make, and just piece it. 
and always start with your little areas first because and don't rest your hand on your pumpkin because with, with it being a half inch thick it can cave in on you you always want to make sure you have your hand out here on your thick part of your pumpkin and don't rest it on your little insides Let's see if there's another one here. this one's Dracula lantern this is what it looked Dracula And it's got bats you can put on the bat, uh, carve on the back of your pumpkin, and it ref when it's lit, it reflects the bats on your background behind your pumpkin. And this one would be a moderate. Let's see if I've got some challenging. Moderate. There's a cat haunted castle. This is what it looks like when it's done. You just cut out the gray parts. Moderate. I'm looking to see if they got one that's challenging. Mm, no, I guess not. No, from my point of view, they all look challenging. <laughs> Seriously. Well, uh, I, the, yeah. my neighbor girl did uh, her first one. She's never done. She did a kitty cat, and it turned out really nice. She did a fantastic job for her first time. If you want to see her pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, I, I filmed it before I came in. Did you? Okay. okay. Uh, what surprises me about those books is there's no regular pumpkin faces. Yes, so there's all you, kinds of faces. No, just a regular standard mm -hmm. pumpkin face. Regular pumpkin face. Well, I'm talking just like just basic eyes. Like, they're... Um. they're, they're, they're See, like this. Yeah. Thing. I've got a book that's got all faces somewhere oh, here. Okay, so 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 the books, some of them are more fancy and some of them just have basic stuff in it. Where's the face book? Faces. I think it's on the bottom. Just faces. Oh, yeah, but these aren't normal faces. These, there's not your not your everyday <laughs> poke eyes and nose and a mouth with teeth. Yeah. Now these are these aren't your regular. You you don't need a pattern for those. You just do it. This is just faces. I guess these are supposed to be lips. Oh, so you can create your own face. Yeah. Oh. Eyes, noses. Okay, so here, what she does here is she takes a Xerox copy of a page and then uses the copy. So she that doesn't. Way, destroy I have the her original. Focus. Yeah. If I want to do it again uh, a couple years from now, do the same pattern. Because I liked it, I have the original. I just make another copy, and just goofy faces. Okay, so next video we'll we'll film it when she carves one. Okay. See ya. Bye. Later. Okay.